Yo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. So you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Now, if you happen to miss the live, this is where you can catch the live. All the highlights and things of that nature will be on this channel. Don't forget, we do got the uh, Patreon as well. This is a loosely accurate list of everything that's on there. I need to update it. And we also got the Discord as well. Now, this is uh, episode two of Staying Out of Prison, Life on Tag. Let's get into it. That is yeah, in case anyone comes appreciate in the you. Where I've been a jail, you know what people are like. I see people are savage people in this world. Is this a recap? I'm able to take them someone's car. Is this a recap? I'm in the building. In. All right. No need to recap. Things have been going well for 24 year old Reese and his girlfriend. Uh, you keep your on tag for another four weeks. Okay. And then I'm off tag. Until didn't he beat her? When the police came, they look really pissed off because they've got this information about Reese wanting to strangle the girlfriend. They came in full force, streets to Reese's room, like bam, 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 bam. Open the door, open the door. It's Reese in there. They came in with the taser and all them. That looks really dramatic. Reese's girlfriend made a serious allegation against him, and he's been arrested. I'm not happy with Reese at all. The way he treated that girl is heartbreaking. Reese is just insecure. Man, let me hey, let me tell you something, man. Fresh out of prison, on tag, on remand, anything of that nature. If you and your girl not married or engaged, don't stay with her. Don't stay with her, because she going to press your buttons. <laughs> and she know you're going to go back to jail. Don't do that. Just go ahead and stay with your mom. Don't even do it. Go ahead, go ahead to your mom crib. I'm not staying with my girl if I'm on tag. I'm not going to let you play with my freedom. <laughs> so maybe you're scared. It's terrifying to know that you're going to have a baby when you are so unstable. Forty-seven pounds. Sam's late for a meeting with probation. Yeah, hello. Um, my name's Sam. I've got uh, an appointment at twelve o'clock today, so it looks like I'm going to be there at like five past twelve. Yeah, no problem at all. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Five past twelve. I would have told him twelve fifteen. That's me, not in trouble. Yeah. Oh, where is it? There's a chance of shift work at the local pork pie factory. But Sam must get his curfew. There's a chance of shift work at the local pork pie factory. Pork pie factory. There's a whole factory for it? But Sam... They don't make nothing else but pork pie? Sam must get his curfew time changed. Or he'll miss out. I need to get something in writing. Saying on a bit of paper or something. Saying that I can... Um, that I can get my tag time changed. I could be starting work next week in a job that I can't do. Because of my tag. So, so then obviously that, then that's, that's these lot fucking up my life more than what I've already fucked it up. Oh, okay. I was, hey, I was about to say, let's take some responsibility, my boy. Because <laughs> I really want to be a full pie factory worker. Christian's job prospects are on hold until after his trial. Who are we going to meet? The mother of my child. <laughs> I ain't seen her in a while. I know Christian is trying to change his life over, but he accidentally stole a car last episode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Folks look like he chew bricks for breakfast. Like, I'm just saying, like, okay, Christian, my bad. Last time I seen him was when I went into prison, before I went into prison. His ex is now seeing someone else, but that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. 
She had no vest on before as well. He looked like a member of the uh, what's that group called? The the boy chiller group or what? What is it called? He looked like he could be a member of them. <laughs> Even when she's been with her other partners and stuff, you know, she still tells me I'm a one true love and all that. So I know, I know. Do you know if someone like puts one kiss to you? It's a friendly thing. Two kisses, three kisses, all that crap. Yeah, well, she's still sending me two kisses. So. <laughs> She says she lives on the same road as the petrol station. This is the only petrol station really around here, isn't it, really? The roundabout is. Oh, it's taking the piss, man. Sam is one step closer to his job at the pork pie factory. This is from probation. Basically just saying that um, I can get my tag changed uh, if needed be. Explaining that I can work and all the rest of it. I'm free to do so, so. Yeah. No, that's ages away. I'll keep walking. Can't keep walking, then. I went in there. Obviously, we, we had a good old chat about it. He just, they basically ask you what's going on in life and how everything is. We, you know, he's basically asking me if I've made any friends since I've been out of prison, which I said not really, because no, everyone, like, they look at you coming along the road or you're at the gym and that, then they notice your ankle, and those people just want to avoid you. They, like, they just presume you're some criminal. But, yeah. They just presume you're some criminal. Would that be an accurate presumption? Presumption or whatever the word is? But, yeah. Which you are. I'm not. <laughs> the cameraman. Hey. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Because, I. hey, listen. I was confused. Yeah, which you are. I'm not. I'm not a criminal. I, I don't. I, I don't see myself as a criminal. Just because I've been to prison doesn't make me a criminal. It means it meant that it wasn't even a really a criminal activity what I got involved in. Do you know what I mean? So you don't identify as a criminal. You identify as a law law abiding citizen. It wasn't. Salute, so Gengi. Hey Siri. What's the definition of a criminal? A person who committed a crime relating to crime relating to crime as opposed to civil matters. So yeah, oh shit. Sam served 18 of a 45 month sentence for breaking someone's jaw in a fight. Oh, you fucking asshole. He was released early on tag after being assessed as low risk. Oh, Sam broke a jaw on some drunk stuff, right? You, if you, hey, you should have ran, allegedly. I don't condone violence or anything or doing anything that would be considered a crime, which make, would make me a criminal. But I'm just saying. Across town, Christian has finally met up with his ex and her new fella. You were late. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I literally said to him, I said, I'm not here at five what I'm going. <laughs> so it's a woman's prerogative to be late, it's blokes want to fuck off when they are. <laughs> what do you like about Christian? What are his best qualities? He's very kind hearted um, at times to certain people. Um, being the only people he's close to, um, but, yes. <laughs> um, but no, like, I've never really had many problems with him, so to me, no. he's been a... You've never had really many problems with me? Was that before or after you've hit me around the head with a frying pan? After. Yeah. Uh, never took... <laughs> the new boyfriend is sitting there like, ah, y'all just reminisce and having a good time frolicking in your memories. <laughs> hey, look, will you sit like this? You mad. <laughs> Clearly, he ain't even cracked a smile. That's tough. Tell a woman at the start of the relationship, you'll never hit her. Because then that's them thinking, oh, here's a punch bag. But yeah. <laughs> What's your history with him? Uh, it's basically my ex-partner, um, my ex-baby father. Um, but obviously, together, we're hostile and violent. What we've, it took us years, but now we can, 
remain friends and be civil with each other. And that's all I want really, is just to be able to get on, meet up, have a chat now and again, you know what I mean? See how he's doing, because I do worry about him. And your son. Can he still hit? And has. He got adopted when he was two. So he was born in 2013, so 2015 was when he was out of our lives. Because of the... Domestic violence and social services due to my past and his past. So you, yeah. you've no idea where your son is? Or? No, I just know he's out of Nottingham, which I'm grateful for, because he's not in Nottingham. Damn. So they not even... They kid not even around. Obviously, me and, me, me and Christian, we do have feelings for each other, but we don't work together as a couple. So it's best just to be friends and get on with our lives, really. I'll always love her. I'd love her even if she's not with me. She, she could be with something completely different. She could be married, she could have kids. She could be in like, a proper family. I'd still be there for her if she ever needed me. If no offence, man. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. If I was in bro's situation, ain't no way I'd be talking to my baby mama. We both don't know where our kid is. There's no more reason for us to communicate. I'm out of here. It's unfortunate, but like, your kid's in a better situation, clearly. We didn't work as a couple. We're not reconciling. I don't want to be your friend. Am I bogus for that? I don't think so. I ain't trying to kick it <laughs> with you and your new man. You know what I'm saying? Christian gets locked up at his trial. It could be years before he sees Sarah again. <sighs> Reese has been released from custody. The strangulation charge has been dropped and no further action has been taken by the police. See what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying though? Like he with his baby mama. She Alex, she she called the police saying he trying to strangle me, but then dropped the charges. You you playing with my freedom at this point. I'm not you cannot I understand you pregnant, whatever. You can stay here. I'll go stay with my mom. Like I no. Didn't do it. I didn't put one finger on her. I'm glad I'm released, and I'm glad that she's out of my life. They've got a new girlfriend. Yeah. She's so got a new girlfriend. Yeah. It didn't take me long. <laughs> What's her name? Billy. Billy. So you still want the baby to be yours? Yeah. Even though I will never get back with one. Never ever in my life I'll get back with one. If that kid is mine, I want some, I, I want to be in his life. My dad wasn't here for me. My dad ran off. When I don't even know how old I was. At the end of the day, I brought myself up on these streets. And you know what? <coughs> the terrible job. At first, I brought myself up the wrong way. But it's about time now I bring myself up the right way and do what's right for me and be a dad to my kids that they need. That's a that no cap, Reese, leaving her and not going back. That's a good, that's a good move for your sanity. Now, you go, it's going to get hard, especially because you want to be in a kid's life. She might be a little bitter. She might not be. I don't know what type of woman that is. But if you want to just skip all of that heartache, go ahead and go to the court. Take care of it in the courts. But Reese's decision may be too late. Having the police come here for one particular individual, you know, on a regular basis, you know, um, does not make us look good. He's quite a troubled young man. And we are trying to work with him, but he's making it very difficult. We've been quite patient with him, but he's on the verge of, of leaving us. I mean, he could possibly be recalled because he has to be here through his license and through his tag. So if he gets evicted, yeah, it's possible that he could go back to jail. Damn. I've had enough of it. I can't, I can't cope with jail no more. I keep saying I want to go back when I'm pissed off, but that's when I'm pissed off. And as soon as I've calmed down, then I'm, I'm cool. I, I, it, it doesn't bother me. I don't, I don't want to go back to jail. It's just full of idiots committing stupid crimes. For what? To get yourself put in jail, waste your life away from your family and your kids, sitting there on a visit for two hours. Two hours of your life wasting away when you can sit there for the rest of your life being out there with your kids. You're better off out, out on the roads, me. Nice. I feel like he's hit like a mental, like a like he's over a mental barricade. It sounds like he sounds convincing to me right now. 
He had that moment of realization, like, I can't be here. <laughs> it's not his first child, but... Thirty percent, the reoffending rate within the first year of those charged with criminal offenses. On the other side of Nottingham, it's a big day for Sam. We are going to Tottle Bakery, um, which is a pork pie factory. That's my job interview. I'm a bit nervous though, because I imagine if I don't get a job at a pork pie factory. <laughs> there is no hope for me. I might as well just... Oh, yeah. man. Don't do that. Notice that you've hidden your tag. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'd have to... Really, if, it, if my tag was out, that means I would have purposefully made effort to have it out with jeans on. I'd look like a right turd, wouldn't I? Or walking around with a pair of jeans all tucked in around the tag. So, yeah, it's, it's a way. Are you worried that having a tag will affect getting the job? Yeah, sort of. Obviously, I've told them and they said they don't discriminate, but it's not really whether they discriminate, it's whether they can fit their hours around me, do you know what I mean? So, it's one of them, isn't it? That's, that's the only worry I've got, really. That's true, man. There's a million others of you out there. A job, if you can't fit their needs, they not coming. They don't matter. On to the next. At the hostel, Christian has a visitor. Hey, yo. I guess Christian answered my question for me. I asked, can he still get with his baby mama? Apparently, she laid up in the bed at the hostel with him. Where's her boyfriend? You see what I'm saying? When you got a baby mama, you can always still hit. I ain't gonna even lie to you. What's this arrangement now, then? What arrangement? <laughs> I'm just chilling at the minute. Him and his ex-girlfriend might have reconnected. It can be God. In and, like, and they reconnected. What's crazy is they reconnected in front of her current boyfriend's face. some ways because it might motivate him I mean a lot a lot of the problem with Christians I think he doesn't have anything to focus on a lot of the time at the moment he's going through quite a lot concerned about this court case and what's gonna happen he's very nervous I know he doesn't want to go back to jail so would I date someone with a kid me this is I'm getting questions in the chat I'm sorry YouTube y'all can't see the chat because I'm I don't know something's going on with my twitch account where I you know but would I date a woman with a kid Yes. Damn near, I'm only dating women with kids. Damn near. Not multiple kids, maybe one. Um, and let me give you my reasoning. As a grown man now, that's been through real life things, I need to be certain that a woman is going to be there for her kids. And me... Like, I'm not, I'm not saying I wouldn't date nobody with... I don't know, of course I would, but like... I'm saying having a kid wouldn't bother me. It honestly, it checks a box for me. If we have a child, she will be there for the child, 100%. She's in her kid's life. She takes care of her kids. Cool. She has that motherly instinct. She's checked off my list. I'm Never again will I be in a relationship with a deadbeat, with a person that don't take care of their kid. Like, that's me personally. I don't want to go down that path. You know what I'm saying? So having, a, like, I don't understand why women, like, like if you really think about it, women be, like, they be, like, kind of cutting dudes off when they got kids. And they take care of it. Like, they see that they take care of their kids. Like, oh, you got a kid. Yeah, I got a kid. Like, that should honestly, like, with everything that's going on with men not taking care of their kids, that should check a box for you. <laughs> that should put me in front of everybody else. Like, damn, he take care of his kids. I ain't got to worry about him running off and leaving me with, with with that baggage like that by myself. And me, me personally. So tell me how you feel. 
honestly. Anxious. This is wild to me though. On national TV. On national TV, her uh, current boyfriend let her ex come around, riz her back up, and the next day, she's at the halfway house in his bed, probably getting, you know what I'm saying? That's tough. That's, that's you're moving wild right now. Well, uh, apprehensive. Just nervous, really. He's shitting himself, basically, because obviously he, he, he opens up to me, don't he? He's not looking forward to it at all. Do you think he's going down? I've got a feeling he's going down. They might not, you know what I mean? They might think, no, sending to prison's not a good idea, but it's hard to know. Christian has got a lot of potential. I think he just needs some focus, perhaps, um, things to occupy his mind, things to do. and. I mean, if he does wrong, he's got to be punished, and obviously prison's not going to be that punishment, but in the long term, I don't think it's going to do him any good. I've got a job, I think. Today they're going to call me tomorrow, and um, I'll be in there Sunday, so happy days, eh? I'm officially a pork pie factory worker. That's what's up. I feel good, man. I feel all right. I feel, like, I don't know. It's not really that good a feeling, is it? I've got a job in a pork pie factory. But still, you feel good? I feel good, yeah. I feel better than I did this morning when I woke up. So, that's the main thing. I feel good. There is no more to it. That's it. <laughs> Come on, deep down. Deep down, deep down, I don't even want to work there. <laughs> deep down, I'm pissed right off that I've got to work in a pork pie factory doing 12-hour shifts. Yeah. It's a lot of shit. That's how I feel. Y'all eat that much pork pie with 12-hour shift? That's crazy. But Did the factory close? It's a job, so it's whatever, isn't it? It's whatever, and I need the social anyway, man. I don't know anyone up here. It's just getting boring. So maybe I'll meet some people and make some friends. Yeah. Stop following me, you weirdo. <laughs> At the hostel, Rhys has been summoned for a chat with manager Mustafa. You no longer tolerate your behaviour in this house. Your service charges have not been paid since you moved in here. Your behaviour in house is considered antisocial. You play loud music, um, allowing people to climb through your window. And these are behaviors that we will not tolerate. So I'm prepared to listen to you. And after that, I'll consider it and then I'll get back to you. I shouldn't be staying here from what I've done, but that I want to prove to you, obviously, I can be a good tenant for you and obviously respect your building. If this opportunity is given back to you, then there's no, Possibility. There's no. There's no. You know. There's no reason why you should breach it further. You're one of the few people that will breach over eight nine times. I don't know how Damn. much more. Eight nine times. <laughs> tenth times the charge. Like the the, the tenth, tenth time is the charm. Opportunity you want for us to give to you to show us that yeah you can actually turn the corner. Take yourself seriously, engage with the support. You know, nobody wants to sit here and have this kind of conversation. I'd rather focus our energy on something positive. Really How old is he? He's like 23 also, right? Really bad. You know, but I've listened to what you've got to say. You know, I'm still hesitant about your sincerity. You know. I am willing to change. Yeah. I'm willing yeah, to change. I, think, like, I don't yeah. want to like, obviously get kicked out. I've heard what you've got to say. Yeah. I'd like to have discussion with others and then um, I will get back to you and let you know what our decision is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. I personally want to believe him, man. <laughs> but I ain't know he'd had this conversation 10 times already. 
I don't believe a word he says, but I'm prepared to give him uh, the opportunity to demonstrate to us that, you know, it means what he's got, what, what he said. See, they're open. They don't believe him, but they're open to let him try one more time. Because this is the last time, though, like, for real. Mustafa wants to speak with Reese's probation officer before making a decision. Reese breaks the news to his new girlfriend. Because obviously all the rules have broken the yard. Yeah. He needs to go through probation to see what they're saying, see if I'm like able to stay in the building or if they need to move it. Move you to prison? But if they move me, then I'm f they're going to put me back in jail. You think you did enough to... Yeah. I do think I spoke like, enough to like obviously say... Don't kick me out. Like, obviously, I told him I'll stick to all the rules and nothing. What will you do if he decides to let you go? I'll have to go, bro. Well, I'll retreat. What will will you go angrily is the question. Mean for the tag? I'm going back to jail. Christian's trial is now just days away. Hey, this reality, though. This how <laughs> we be trying to act like we're going to be cuddled up with our girls like this. This is real life. Christian want to be baby like the rest of us grown men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's tough. <laughs> His drug use has definitely increased. I don't know if that's related to the girlfriend, to be honest. I think it's something he does regardless of, of what's going on in his life. Um, I think probably the tag and having to be in a lot of the time will increase his drug use. Is it Mamba? Yeah, I'm not obviously on it, but... <laughs> yeah, it's not a good thing. I think it's put on here, on this earth, personally, to kill people. And he told me he's clean, and I come to see him. And the first night I'm here... He was obviously smoking Mamba, and then I was just like... It, I, what, what could be wrong? I've sat here and cried, seeing him in such a vulnerable state. It's breaking me. When it comes to Christian, if he, if he does get caught... Uh... And that specific... This, this specific thing doesn't stay in your system like marijuana does, right? It's like you smoke it and it's gone. It's not traceable. So I'm pretty sure they run a test on him. And taking drugs and smoking on the premises, yeah, you'll get an eviction notice. I yeah, no, no bed sheet was crazy for Reese. Stay with him, but I just don't want him to be like this for the rest of his life. I think it's escaping his own head. He says that when he smokes Mamba, it's like he's out of his body. So he doesn't feel all the pain, the anger. And... So that's sort of what I've got off him. Yeah, need washing. <laughs> do you love him? I do. I do love him. He's a father of a child. I'll always love him. It's just hard, obviously, the world is like this, isn't it? This is not the, the man that I fell in love with. I really hope he doesn't go to prison, but I mean, he might. He might. TLO, what's that? What do you think the verdict? is likely to be. I think the verdict's likely to be guilty. But I'm hopeful that that's not the case. Man, that boy taking a nap on his knee. That's crazy. Knee nap time. That was tough. I'm not backing. And I'm guessing the type of people will be, they'll probably be calling that box that's at home right now. Stupid thing, man. Do you know what, probably the most expensive thing I own is? My dinner set. I can melt them down and make... Where are you still that from? The <laughs> chain out of them. Where do you get them from? Well, you recognise them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking horrible, man. I fucking hate this shit. What if they don't do that and they send me back to... Oh, uh, is this like a preview for the next one? No, we don't watch previews, man. That's the only thing. Dang. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.